one time Spike got wings and everyone in the fandom said, that makes more sense than the other time, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Well, isn't that convenient? If you think that's convenient, wait till you see my new kitchen. <laughs> To be honest, this episode isn't really about what's going on in it, but what's implied outside the scope of it. Spike might have some acne, I guess? And the plot kind of turns into mush a little bit. Due to a misunderstanding, I have to go hide this thing that should be obvious from everyone who cares about me because this might turn out to be horrible. Jeez, that's been a thing like forever. What's interesting about this episode is we finally get some pieces about how dragons work in the show. Dragons aren't born with wings. They evolve them, I guess, like a Pokemon. Although this seems to be rather convenient about how the plot presents itself, in that I mean isn't it convenient we learn about the wings thing when it's Spike that gets them? We don't get to learn that sometime earlier in the show's run, but hey, what are you gonna do, I guess? So we start off with Spike and Rarity in the woods, when Spike is trying to hide his acne! Look at its face! Whoa! I like how it's Rarity that he breaks out in front of. Does anyone find that ironic, or is it just me? Is that how irony works? Nope. Oh, and I guess we get to talk about Peewee again. Remember Peewee? Remember him? Yeah, me neither. That was such a long time ago, man. There's also some sort of metaphor in here about growing up, but I think we established that Spike isn't gonna leave anytime soon because of that other time that things happened. And... So anyway, things get worse. And pretty soon Edgy McEdgelord is telling Spike that the end is nigh because he's got some bad breath. Something about how dragons are heartless monsters that abandon their young because why not, right? I think it's biological. We call it the molt effect. I haven't even told you about the smell. Smell? <laughs> oh. oh, brother, this guy stinks! Seriously, I heard none of that. LOUD NOISES! So Spike eventually does the logical thing and goes to Sakura. And after a lot of hiding from Rarity, like a lot, we have an epic showdown with this big eagle thing that shows up out of nowhere. America! Yeah! And as random as this flight is, it seems as it go the way you'd expect. Until wings! What's happening? I, I can't move! Whoa! Dude, that's creepy. I'm blind! Ah! What ah! just happened? Did I just sprout wings? The monster is defeated, and Merry Christmas, the end. I guess we're gonna keep the child. Well, okay then. This is something we wondered about Spike for a long time, and more specifically how dragons work as a whole. It's confusing. Similar to Alicorn stuff, it seems obvious that most dragons have wings. So what's going on with Spike? Does he just take a while to age? Is he secretly a dinosaur? Although it did seem to take forever to get to this point, I'm glad that the show is finally addressing this. Spike has always been an anomaly as far as when it comes down to how dragons work in general. Did Celestia just like steal that egg or what? But episodes like this that tie these things all together in a way that's consistent is a good thing. And finally addressing some of the more obvious issues. It's a little late, but you had to take into account the passage of time in a narrative. As in like maybe two years passed in the show compared to the real world. I guess that's just some food for thought. I didn't really have anything to say about this one. I just wanted to make Emily Larson jokes. Anyway, if you like this review or episode or whatever, let me know what you thought in the comments. Did you like this episode? Did you think it was weird that this American eagle just came in and is giant and I don't really know where it came from? That just raises further questions. Um, just let me know, like and subscribe and press the bell to notify yourself. I don't know, whatever you, you want to do, just, just, you know, thanks. Go do it. Go do it. Oh, seriously, come on, do it. Do it. Will you, will you stop with that? That voice makes you sound crazy. And that's all, folks, except it's not time for the ending gag. <gasps> hey, I can fly! He can fly! He can fly! Hello, darkness, my old friend. All right, so this is the Spike episode. You can tell how thrilled I am when I say that, so... Yay. It's like having more dragons around might question the continuity of their role or something. What's that? So we start off with Rarity and Spike in the woods, and I guess Pee-wee's there, and you know, um... And then... 
But I think we established Spike isn't gonna leave anytime soon from that other time, so, you know. At least we get the passage of time going on. Yay, passage of time. And I'm pretty sure Edgy McEdgelord is telling Spike that the end is nay because he's gonna, because he's got some bad breath. That's, um, Smolder, I think, is the, the orange one. Right? Spike has always been an ab abnormally. Spike has always been anonym anomaly. Spike has always been anonym. Spike has always been an anomaly. Abnormally. Ab anomaly. Spike has always been. Spike has always been that. Spike has always been that abnormal. An abnormal. I can't talk. <laughs>